guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Outrun Arcade Cabinet by Arcade One Up. Now this one here is a very unique cabinet, mainly because of the fact that it has a steering wheel. As as a sit and play, this allows you to go ahead and sit down and actually race. Now I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out just because I'm a big fan of Outrun and I'm a big fan of Arcade One Up as you probably already know. So together we'll be seeing exactly what it's all about. Now this here is the box, it is a massively heavy box, so just exercise caution when you do carry it. They do recommend two people, maybe three. So in this episode here, we'll be seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build this bad boy. Alright, so this here is our cabinet finally built and overall it wasn't too complicated. Uh, now it is a little bit of a unique aspect in terms of the seating uh, perspective goes, but the nice thing is it's actually two different pieces. So you can go ahead and slide it out or you can go ahead and slide it in based on your driving height. Now a little bit of uniqueness behind this is obviously there is a steering wheel which is something we haven't seen before in any of the RK1 of cabinets. And of course you get the landmark key, but I really love the graphics display. So you have that nice outrun logo on the side with the car and then you have this map here on the front kind of showcasing the levels as you kind of go about. And then you have your full display in front of you. So you have your start button here on the left, green button. Uh, you have your music change mode and you have your song change. Uh, you can go ahead and go to low gear or high gear. There's no four or five gears. It's just literally low or high. And then you have your steering wheel. It's actually surprisingly solid. I mean, I think they actually did a good job with the steering. You do have your gas pedal and your brake pedal. Both are actually kind of nice. So it does kind of slide on the bottom. So when you do move about, they kind of detach. So just kind of exercise caution. The screen itself is very nice. Um, I do recommend loosening the screws before you remove the plastic wrap. This way you can go ahead and get it off the edges, which is always a solid plus. All right, so there's an on off switch here on the left. You have your volume control as well. Now you have your four games here. You have your Outrun, you have your Outrun Turbo, you have Outrunners and Power Drift. Now the nice thing is you can go ahead and go into the settings, but the only way you can go into the settings is by using the lever and then you can go ahead and turn with the steering and then you select with the gas pedal. So it just seems a little complicated to control it. So with Turbo Outrun, you do get a turbo button, which is nice. Uh, so that's that little red button that's next to our gear lever, uh, gear lever, and we'll hit start. All right, we're gonna start and let's do this. So you can pick automatic or manual transmission. Um, the difference is between honestly low gear and high gear. So let's do manual. All right. And we're off. Just to start off in low gear. Oh no, he's passing me off. Okay, let's go ahead and use our high gear. And we're gonna go ahead and use our turbo. There we go. And the careful thing is you don't want to overheat the engine because if you overheat, you'll actually blow off the engine. <laughs> One more time with the boost. So surprisingly, the, the graphics are pretty solid. They have a very arcade-ish feel. So the handling is quite responsive. I like that a lot. I think it's quite easy to use. Uh, it definitely gives a nice retro aspect in terms of outrun goes. So it's overheating now, I can't use the boost. All right, now we're in a different lap, so now it's raining. So the nice thing about this is that if I go ahead and uh, crash, the car will actually flip and do all that fun jazz. So, so if I hit something here, let's hit the wall. There we go, look at that. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. All right, go, 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 go. And then if you hit the brakes, the brake lights will go on. Low gear. So definitely gives a lot of nostalgic value, which I really like. So you got these crazy hills going here. Now you got all these obstacles you got hit, and then you got these bumps. What the heck? Oh, it'd be awesome if they had forced feedback, but obviously, you know, it's not that kind of a simulator. There we go. Turbo! Whoa, look at that! Snow! Come, oh no, no, no! I almost hit the Jeep. Oh no, I spun out. Oh, we got police. How oh, cool, it's a cave.
All right, so I had a head start, and we'll go back to the main menu. So that was our turbo outrun. Uh, we're gonna wanna try out just plain outrun now and see how much of a difference that is. So this one does not have the turbo gear, uh, so it just has high and low. And we can start from low gear. All right, low gear, high gear. So I guess you can't change the music in this game. So this is like the very classic version of the game. Uh, very responsive in terms of the controls go as well. Uh, I really like that. The graphics are pretty nice for obviously the time being. Uh, and you have the capability to go ahead and add scan lines and kind of create more of a retro feel based on your own personal liking. Uh, but surprisingly the screen's handling it very, very well. Uh, it's actually very, very crisp from edge to edge. Oh, and we flipped. <laughs> And yeah, that, that is just the uh, traditional outrun. So hit start, you hold it for five seconds and it'll go ahead and reset and go back into the main menu. Uh, so this here is Outrunners, which is another version of the game. So hit start. All right, and then we'll go ahead and ignition. So as if the car's starting. And then we can go ahead and pick our car. Oh yeah, let's get the Lamborghini. So you can go on manual to six speed or automatic. So do manual. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, the game's a lot louder than the other games. So we're gonna switch to second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. All right, so we can go and go westbound or eastbound. All right, westbound it is. All right, we're in sixth gear. You can change the music. These are different radio stations. So that's kind of nice that they give you the feature. Oh, <laughs> that you can go and change the songs. Down shift. There we go, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Oh, look at that, we got the bridge. Fifth gear. Oh no, crash! And they're gonna jump right back in. Downshift, upshift. Oh! Second gear. Wait, how's that train beating me? Okay. Oh, we're just like traveling the world right now. Oh no! Second gear. Third gear. Actually, this case is a little bit more fun. I like the fact that you can drift. So you can see that the, the quality is actually really good. So let's go ahead and hit start. And then we're gonna go ahead and try out our last game, Power Drift. So we can go ahead and pick our car. So let's choose green. Be third or better to continue, okay. Whoa, so I got a 3D version of a NES game. All right, we're in low gear. Slipping high gear. Whoa, the whole screen's silting? Wait, what the, what the heck just happened? Okay, low gear, high gear, turn! Ah! This is a little bit of a different game. Definitely very different, but we have to finish this game. Let's try this once, come on. Okay, we are, what place are we in? We're in fifth. Okay, now we're, ah, oh, we came in sixth place. 
So yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. So you have your traditional outrun, you have your outrunners, and then you have your power drift. So all great games. And yeah, I have to say it's definitely a cool buy, especially if you're looking for something very unique. This thing will definitely stand out in your arcade room. Now, other than that, if you guys had any questions about the outrun cabinets, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.